Today, I'm going to talk to you about my new fantasy book that has just been released by DLD Publishing. You know, I've taken a break from writing my blogs for the holidays. Instead, today, I just want to talk to you about this new book. I'm really excited about it. In fact, I never thought I would write a fantasy book. I never thought I'd write any kind of a book. But I started to work on a youth seminar called Life Quest The Expedition Begins. And I wanted a thousand word fantasy story to kind of introduce the concepts to the youth who'd be taking the seminars. So I sat down and I worked on that thousand word um, introduction to the seminar, put it away, and then started uh, back to work on the manual. Well, you know, that story just kept running around and around in this crazy old head of mine. So one day I sat down on the computer at Starbucks and I started with that first chapter, that introductory piece for the manual as the first chapter. And I just began to write. You know, I've heard fictional writers talk about how stories just take on a life of their own. I never quite understood that. But all of a sudden, Alex and Nicole, the two main characters who were sent to the Isle of Iwig Up by the Everlasting Bean with a, a, a coach named Master Jaren, all of a sudden the dialogue began to flow between them, the situations began to come up, and things just really began to fall into place. All of a sudden, I had a ten chapter book not only did I have a 10 chapter book, but I realized that there were three or four more books that were beginning to form in my mind in this series. So the new fantasy series is called Life Quest, The Expedition Begins, the fantasy series, and this first book is called In Search of Me. I like to think about it as a practical theology written in a fantasy setting, kind of like A Pilgrim's Progress or The Chronicles of Narnia. No way do I write as well as them, but I'm sure I'll hold your attention, make you laugh, and maybe learn some things. But don't get shook up by that word practical theology. I don't use a lot of theological jargon in this, and the little that I do is explained very simply. It's an easy to read book that I know you're going to enjoy, but my real prayer is that it'll help you learn to grow in your walk in Jesus Christ. The first book is about who we are in Christ, about our identity, the identity of all people who were created by God but especially the identity who find ourselves as his children. So many of us struggle with that, and I think this is an easy way to begin to understand that. Now, some people think this book is just for young people, and I did write it with 16 to 27 year olds in mind, but the adults who have read it have loved it. They've told me how they've laughed, how they've enjoyed it, and how they've learned to grow in their own life. So I hope you enjoy this book. You can pick it up at Amazon.com. You can get either the printed edition there or the Kindle edition, which is much cheaper. But if you go to my website, www.dynamiclifedevelopment.org, click on DLD Products, and then on the left-hand side of that page, you'll see this book listed. Click on that. It'll tell you more about the book, and it'll give you a way to get a 20% discount on the printed volume and a $1 rebate on the Kindle. Listen, I don't care if I make a lot of money in this book. All of that will go to help the ministry that I do with troubled youth that I meet at the Juvenile Detention Center. But my real prayer is that you will grow in Christ, that you'll be able to make each day one that glorifies your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And by the way, Merry Christmas to all of you. 
May the attitude of Jesus that he showed when he came to dwell amongst us, may, he, may that attitude really become real in your life and begin to flow through you to all the people around you.